Hi, today we'll be talking about how to do a pelvic assessment. So, a pelvic assessment is basically done in all primary gravid women at term and any pregnant woman who comes during labor to see whether the pelvis is adequate or not. How do we do this? The first thing we do is when we, when we do a, bi, a PD examination, we first assess the inlet. How do we do that? By seeing whether our finger can reach the sacral promontory or not. Ideally, we should not be able to feel the sacral promontory. That means the inlet is adequate. Then we feel for the curve of the sacrum, a gynecoid pelvis should have a well curved sacrum from up to down and side to side. Then we try to introduce two fingers in the sacrosatic notch. The sacrosatic notch should be able to admit two fingers. Then we, we assess the mid pelvis. How do we do that? We outstretch our fingers and see if our fingers touch the pelvic sidewall. In a good gynecoid pelvis, we should not be able to touch the sidewall simultaneously with both fingers. In an android pelvis where the sidewall is converging, uh, the fingers will be able to touch. Now we see the ischial spine. Can you see these? These are the ischial spines and in a gynecoid pelvis, they are not prominent. In an android pelvis, they are very prominent. Then comes the subpubic angle. We should be able to put two fingers in the subpubic arch. And lastly, we look at the outlet. We may form a, uh, a fist and we introduce this knuckle into four. At least four knuckles should be able to be introduced between the two ischial tuberosities. And this is how we assess pelvic adequacy.